Good morning, my name is Terrell Harris, one half of the leadership team of The Open Box, where our vision is to make wholeness more accessible. Today's message comes from Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 through 2, and it reads as follows. After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. Today's message is entitled, Why You Must Sacrifice. Now, uh, for those who don't know the story of Abraham, up until this point, Abraham has two sons. He's had, he has a son from Hagar, who he sent off into the desert, and then he has a son from his, his, uh, his wife, Rebecca, which is Isaac. So, at this particular point in the story, Isaac is the only son that he has, and God actually suggests, or, or to test Abraham, he recommends that Isaac um, be sacrificed. Uh, it's it's kind of it's in, in this day and age, this, these type of passages is, is kind of tough to deal with. But um, I think we in this time should look at it more as a as a metaphor than an actual sacrifice. But basically, what happens is Abraham takes Isaac up on the mountain, and ultimately God sends a ram. Uh, in place of Isaac and Isaac's not sacrificed and I, I guess the the message in terms of this God God was testing Abraham to see if he was faithful and to see if um, he would actually follow God's commandment be because Abraham was actually supposed to be the father of, of nations or great nations so uh, it, it seems as if God was just checking to make sure he made a uh, a good decision so um, and scouring through the text, you know, doing the, the research and a lot, of, a lot of the work that goes into this, I was trying to figure out what exactly is God trying to tell us by having a, a scripture like this to where it's so vivid to where a father would sacrifice his only son in the household who uh, his lineage was supposed to spread through and who the, who the nation was supposed to be built upon. So in looking through the text, you know, different texts, I've realized that sacrifice is often a common theme in the Bible, not just the Old Testament, but also the New Testament. So, there's a story in the New Testament, uh, which is referred to, or often referred to as a young rich ruler, and that's found in Matthew 19, um, 16 through 30. That's, it's also found in Mark 10, verses 17 through 31. And also Luke 18 verses 18 through 30. So we see the story of the young rich rulers in three of the Gospels. What happens in this story is you have a, a young man who uh, apparently is, is rich. And he asks Jesus how he could inherit eternal life. And up until this point, uh, the man points out that he's been good. He's been keeping the commandments. So he, he comes to Jesus and asks Jesus, what must I do to inherit um, eternal life or, or make it to the next level? And Jesus tells him, well, I want you to sell everything you have, uh, take the money that you earn, and give it to those in need, and then come follow me. And what happens is the young man turns around and, and he's, a little, he's disappointed in what Jesus has told him. So we never know. I, I think oftentimes it's taught that the, the young man just goes and leaves, but there's, there's no sign that he never returns to Jesus, or there's no sign that he actually... Um, didn't do what Jesus said. We just know he turns and and leaves a little, at least disappointed. So we don't know if he actually made that sacrifice or not. And then you know, and also in looking into some more texts as I prepare for this message, um, it hit me that God actually makes a sacrifice. So the sacrifice that God makes to save humanity is he sacrifices his son Jesus on the cross. So you see that there's a parallel between the story of Abraham and also between uh, the story of Jesus Christ. So it, it seems that God is not asking us to do anything God wouldn't do God's self. So in order for humanity to reach the next level, God sacrifices Jesus to die for our sins. Um, Jesus goes with that in order for Abraham to uh, reach the next level in order for you know there's, there to be great nations birthed through Abraham. Abraham is faithful to God and God provides a, a sacrifice of the goat and we see one individual who 
may not be so happy about making the sacrifice. So we see we see the human element that everybody just doesn't hop and make sacrifices uh, immediately to reach that next level. So the young rich ruler goes off and um, he's upset, but maybe or maybe not. Maybe he made the sacrifice. Maybe he didn't. We will never know. So. What I get, gather from this text is in order, us for, in order for us to make it to the next level or to f fulfill our calling where God is calling us, we, we all have to make sacrifices at some point. So for me, my, my personal story is, you know, I finished up my, um, my Masters of Divinity in May of 2014. And, you know, I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen afterwards. And, you know, I, I kind of just dove into it not knowing where God was calling me or, or what. Um, I wanted to do with it. I just knew I had a desire to learn more and to learn more and to really, 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 really learn more than I was actually receiving in church. So, coming around uh, towards the end of my, my degree, maybe like my last two semesters, I, I realized that I really had a passion for ministry in general, not just preaching, but, you know, helping people, also teaching. And I've been in IT for roughly 14 years. And I thought, you know, maybe I could manage both, or maybe, maybe I could do both, but my desires uh, to help people had, it started to outweigh my desires to be in, a, in front of a computer screen all day. So I, I tried to think of ways to merge the two, uh, to figure out how this was going to work. And I'm, I'm at, I may be at a crossroads right now. No, I'm, I, let, let me not even front. I'm at a crossroads right now trying to figure out am I gonna make the sacrifice in terms of just disregarding uh, or casting away my my career in information technology because let's be clear you know IT information technology has been pretty lucrative or am I going to uh, chase ministry or not necessarily chase ministry or dive into ministry fully and just trust God and and make the sacrifice of money. Now, granted, of course, my bills ha have to get paid, so I'm not just gonna jump out there and not have have a backup plan. But I'm I'm at this crossroads right now, so maybe this message is for me more than it is for you. Um, but ultimately, it is gonna be a time where I believe that I'm I may not I may not be able to do both. So ultimately, I'm gonna have to make a decision whether or not to sacrifice you know the nine to five job and fully fully trust God and, and go into ministry and I think that's a lot of a lot of what ministers have to go through who uh, have jobs and, and are also trying to do the ministry thing as well because oftentimes for, for most of you who don't know um, ministry is not really a it's not a lucrative um, a profession you know you may see things like preachers of LA and stuff like that but trust me I mean I would say the average minister makes around maybe between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, depending where they're at and the size of their congregation. And most congregations aren't big, so ministers aren't making a lot of money. So, for you, for those um, out there, maybe God is asking you to make a sacrifice in order to reach the next level as well. So, for those of you who are looking to get married, maybe God is asking you to be abstinent. Uh, for those of you working towards a degree. Maybe God is asking you to sacrifice spending time out with your friends. Maybe God is asking you to sacrifice partying a little bit. Uh, also for students, for those of you who are looking to get better grades or looking to, you know, achieve uh, that degree, again, maybe God is asking you to sacrifice the time that you spend on social media. Now, I just wanted to put a note in this for those students who are watching this. God will never ask you to sacrifice your grades to become a superstar athlete. I've seen this happen too many times where uh, guys I grew up with would, would sacrifice their grades. And, you know, they'd be good, good in basketball, good in baseball. But then if things didn't work out, they wouldn't have an education to fall back on. So God will never ask you to sacrifice something um, as it relates to learning. So what exactly is God asking you to sacrifice? Um, now... Why is God asking you to sacrifice? So you must sacrifice because there are some things that will hold, that you're holding on to that will prevent you from reaching the next phase of your calling. 
and it also prevents you from reaching your wildest dreams. So when you hold on to these things, um, like money, when you hold on to some relationships, when you hold on to your social media devices and everything like that, it prevents you from reaching the next phase of your life and the next phase in the, of, of your calling and also may prevent you from re reaching your wildest dreams. So I would petition you to consider these things in prayer and meditation and maybe you should go on and make the sacrifice that God is calling you to make. This way you would move on to the next phase of your life. Amen. Let us pray out, and then you could go on and enjoy the rest of your day. God, we thank you for the opportunity to come and learn. We thank you for the message. And we also just ask that you give us the courage to make the sacrifices in the areas that you need us to in order to reach our calling. And we ask that you guide us in these decisions. This we ask in your son's name. Amen. Peace and blessings. Y'all have a good one. I'm out.